reasons why R Russian uh, thugs in South Ossetia banned people residing on the territory under their control to travel to Georgia proper. It was indeed in 2004 that is when we launched reforms, when, uh, when Russia stopped trusting local separatists, even though they were loyal to Moscow, and started direct appointments of, direct, uh, of ethnic Russians from Russia uh, in, in ministerial positions in, in, uh, in, uh, in South, South Ossetia. In fact, they, they might, some in Russia might, may think it was right because when General Khrulov, who was the commander of the 58th Army, was wounded in the war, General Alexei Lunyov, who, who was South Ossetian defense minister, a Russian general, overtook command of the Russian 58th Army, which is, which is interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> Russia has gone back to the classic KGB mix, repression at home and aggression abroad. Russia manufactured this, uh, this crisis in Georgia to reinforce this agenda and screw the bolts at home. This crisis was manufactured just like uh, the crisis in Sudetenland. South Ossetia is the new Sudetenland of Europe. And this is not just us. This is uh, respectful uh, British MPs and Swedish Foreign Minister Carl Bildt uh, uh, making, making this uh, comparison. I, I still admire Mr. Pushkov because he's trying to defend the indefensible. But I understand that for somebody who believes in international law, that must be difficult. Mr. Putin spoke about, and, 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 and uh, entire Russian leadership spoke about 2,000 dead civilians in, in South Ossetia. Well, it appears that they live in a, in a, in a fantasy world where it is uh, comfortable, but we live on Earth, and so does Human Rights Watch, who found 44 dead, mostly uh, male militiamen in, 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 in Tsrin Valley. Uh, or perhaps Mr. Putin uh, meant 2,000 dead Russian soldiers, uh, which Russian generals privately are suggesting is the ca number of uh, Russian casualties. I don't know. Maybe Russian soldiers are better at hiding uh, dead bodies than fighting this war. <clears throat> you would expect the world, you, you are expecting uh, Mr. Pushkov, to, the world to believe you, but the world remembers Grozny, the world remembers Chechnya, where you killed quarter of entire population of, of, of Chechnya. You expect the world to believe you, but <clears throat> you're afraid of international investigation, which President Saakashvili called on August 17th, the first, earlier than the, the Germans, and you are not allowing uh, EU monitors to access areas where everybody agrees ethnic cleansing took place. Why? Mr. Sidelsky, uh, Lord Sidelsky suggested NATO would have to go to war with Georgia, uh, with uh, Russia because of Georgia. With all respect, I suggest you have closer look at Cold War history and tell us when was uh, that Russia really pl even played with the idea uh, of going to war with NATO? Never. Th there are three conclusions from this, uh, from this crisis. First, that the, unfortunately, and that's a tragic conclusion, that the only language Russia understands, uh, uh, that, that the Russia understands compromise as weakness, that Bucharest was interpreted as invitation for aggression. The only language Russia understands is language of force. And indeed, when we make comparisons with uh, Finland and Sudetenland and so forth, you know, to you, to average Western Europeans, that seems an exaggeration. Yes, many things have changed s since then, but unfortunately how Russian foreign policy thinking is structured, how that, that, that thing operates, that has not changed, and you, Europe, missed it. <clears throat> Allowing Baltic states uh, was a success, it worked, uh, not least because uh, long subjugated captive nations now are free and decide their own, uh, their own fate and there is no reason why Georgia should be abandoned and Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you very, thank you very much, Georgi. Um, afraid of, uh, Russia is afraid of more democracy and freedom at its borders um, and in a cycle of a return to repression at home, um, aggression abroad.